I have got a fun fall, Thanksgiving, um, autumn kind of card for you today. It can, um, it could be for several things, but it's definitely the colors of fall. And today here in Indiana, it's going to be in the 90s, but then we've got some cool changes coming in next week. The high is like in the 50s. So as often happens in our little neck of the woods, we go from one extreme to the other and we completely miss out on the beautiful week. Um, but hopefully that will come a little later. But I am going to focus on this fun um, bundle, Winter Woods. Um, I've done a couple of cards with it already. And it is going to be, um, I'll have a, a video coming up soon of, um, oh, my cat's crying, of um, my online class that's coming up with this. You don't want to miss it. It has some super fun cards in it. Oh, he's really crying. Um, so, Winter Woods. That's what I'm going to focus on. Here's the card that I do have already up on YouTube. Um, so as well as this one, this card is up. Um, it's more of a Christmas look, but it could be also a winter card. So if you have winter birthdays, um, or if you're sending something to somebody in the Southern Hemisphere this time of year, that would be a fun card to send to them to remind them that it's not warm here. Um, that's the inside of the card. Then this is a card that was done by... Um, one of my downline at our shoe box swap. So it's a completely different look than what I'm going for today. And this is definitely a Christmas card, um, but it's beautiful. And it was really simple to put together. Um, so there will be a card, not this card, but um, I was so inspired by it that there will be a similar card in my online class. So sign up for that and you will get all of the supplies. The supplies that you get are free. You buy the stamps and a couple of, um, you buy the stamps and in this case the the dies because there are dies but you will um, get the supplies the free supplies to make that so today you can see we have colors of autumn that we're working with you can see my stamps ready to go so this is blackberry bliss the base of our card so I'm just hold this I don't have an inside done for it it is going to be one of my camp projects for Friday and I will add an inside but I haven't got that far yet um, and it's going to take a minute to do the card, so um, when I post it, maybe on my website, I'll show you what I have for the inside. And then this is Cajun Craze. It's my new old, old color, my new favorite old color. Um, I don't know that I've used it that much, but in with the colors that we currently have, um, the new colors, Cajun Craze is goes with a lot of them, as you can see with the Blackberry Bliss. So I'm gonna use this apparatus for this. And I don't have my, my stamp mounted, which sometimes when I do the videos, I already have my stamp mounted. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I do that for a card like this. So this is um, my card piece, and I cut it because I want the background colors to show, so I just cut it big enough that I could get the trees that I'm using, and then the greeting. And then this greeting is pulled from Merry Christmas to All, which is a stamp set. Um, and it is kind of a Christmas saying, but because of the colors and the way this card, um, it says, may the beauty of this season fill your heart with joy. And if you live where the um, trees turn, um, the beauty of the season, you know, October is our beautiful month. And they're all just starting to turn here. So it's a very appropriate um, saying for this card because really this is the most I know it's a Christmas saying and the beauty of that season but really if you're talking the beauty of nature there's nothing like October in a lot of parts of our country right now so I'm using ink spot and this is another one of the cards that was kind of I have one uninked ink spot that I pulled out but the rest of these are all from old paper pumpkins that I've just accumulated um, over time. There may be a couple that were um, from kits. You know, sometimes we get those. So I'm gonna add this saying first, because this is the saying that I wanna know, I know that I want. I'm gonna add it down towards the bottom. Hopefully that's straight, because I don't have my head straight over it. If it's not, there's two sides to the card. And my other um, image will be perfect, because I'm working with the Stamparatus. Oh yeah, that's good. So you can see it's a lovely font. That's a really pretty, that, um, it may be a Christmas stamp set, but with the words and the dies that you get in the Merry Christmas to all, you'll find yourself reaching for it a lot. And this, again, if you have winter birthdays or you make some winter cards, 
um, we have a lot of beautiful seasons, so I could see you using it in the spring. So then, um, how I'm going to line this up, I'm going to take my magnet, um, and because this is a red rubber stamp, I don't need any of the foam to mount this up. So I'm just going to take the magnet, I'm going to line this straight up on a line. I'm going to do it further down so it's closer to me. You know, the magnets are super, super sticky. I don't have mine wrapped in anything. I know some people wrap them. I don't. I just use one at a time because they're so strong. And then I'm going to add that on there. Then what you do is you take your stamp and you lay it where you want it to be. So this almost covers the words. I went almost to the top. And then, like I said, I cut it just the right amount for the trees. And then you swing your plate over and then you pick up your stamp. And then that's how you know your image is going to be exactly where you want it to be. So I have my um, early espresso marker. And I'm going to take move my drink out of the way. Um, I'm going to ink the trunks. And they go kind of up into these trees. This is a beautiful stamp set. It's got some great, my cats are fighting. Guys, stop. Because when they fight, now here they come. They often run onto my table. Guys, stop! I don't want them to come crashing onto my table. They were fighting earlier, and I thought maybe they'd gotten it out of their system. I can, You know, if you have cats, or if you have more than one animal, I guess, that lives in your home, it's like having kids. And I don't know if when they fight, he's hurting her, or if it's a game they play. And then there are some, like, some larger branches, so I'm just going to kind of highlight some of those. But at least they didn't come crashing onto my table, because sometimes it's like she's telling on him, so they just come flying in here, and they run up on the table, which would be fun, you know, right in the middle of my project. Okay, so I've got those trunks highlighted, and then I took my colors. You can see kind of my color selection here, and I've got them set out in trees. Um, well, this was my saying. Um, and so I started with the darker colors. So this is the uninked pad. You may have seen I used it in a, one of my other videos. I don't remember which one. So I inked an uninked one. And this is inked with the spruce. So I'm just going to kind of dab some spruce on here. And because of the technique that I'm going to use, I just kind of messed around with this last night. Put it at the top. Um, I don't need full coverage on any of these because they're going to um, get inked more than once. This is real red. So you could do this with large stamp pads, but it'd be a little tricky. You could also do it with markers, but you would get full coverage. And I'm just going over the base of that trunk. That's why I went with the darkest brown that we had because it's going to lift some of it up. This is Calypso Coral. kind of smushing it on there lightly um, and you know when you do that with the uh, ink spots you can kind of get a line so then I go back over it and kind of pick the lines back up. This is Tranquil Tide. And the trees blend into each other but that's fine because you know if you live where there's lots of trees in autumn the leaves all kind of go together anyways. This is Cherry Cobbler. easier to get the two trees on the outer edges. Move that back up. Then you just flip your thing over. The nice thing is, is if you miss something, you just close it again and stamp it again. But just press on that. So then I've got my first inking of it. So you could stop with that. Um, but I want the full autumn effect. So I'm going to take my um, chamois. And just dab. You can see where it's just getting off. And most of the ink comes off on the, the paper, but not quite all of it. And because now I'm going to the lighter ink, I don't want to muddy my lighter colors a whole lot. So now I have um, Lemon Lime Twist. And just 
dab that on there. And I have Flirty Flamingo. Some of these colors you might not think are um, necessarily autumn colors, but they are the ink spots that I had. And once they get all mixed together in the leaves, they're fine. I have Daffodil Delight. Pizzazz. And I'm, I probably messed around with four color combinations um, before I like fell in love with what I had. But they, you know, then when it was all said and done, I'm like, this is beautiful. And then as I looked back over on the, the ones that were laying there, they were all pretty. So I could have just stopped at the beginning. Part of it was... Um, just kind of the order I wanted the trees into. I had two of the green trees too close together. So I'm just gonna close this again. Add that second coat of color. And you can see now, they've got a much more fall feel to it because now there's more color. So I'm gonna wash them off one more time. And the first couple of times I just stopped with this, but then as I put the card together, um, I decided I, it's easy because it's already here, it's already done. So I went back and I took some old olive um, and on the two trees that are green, which this takes a little bit of thought, it's this one here. I added just a dab of old olive. And it's this tree here. And then I took the daffodil, because um, the yellow trees are really my favorite. I put a little bit more on that one, and then I added a little bit to my red tree. And then I took the blackberry, which was um, what I used for my sayings. And I just added a tiny like swash. Of that it's kind of hard to swash these because you do get the lines so just add some color and then kind of drag it and then I took my marker one more time and just added it just like to the tip of the trunks and then back down just from these places where they kind of got a little bit more ink just kind of put the trunk back up on top And because you have the Stamparatus, um, I mean, you can see you could do this for like a home decor piece. And then you could go crazy on your colors of inks because it just builds up. Just add that. And see, now you've really got some color going. And it's more spaced in some more places where there's um, brighters and darkers, kind of where it happens real in fall. Where some trees, especially if you're driving and they hit the light, I'm going to dab this off one more time. And then my favorite part of it, um, you know, it's been in the 80s and the 90s. Like it's been one of the hottest Octobers for a long time this week. And then if you look at our forecast, next week we have some nights where it's going to drop down into the 30s, which is what helps make the leaves the beautiful colors they are. But there's nothing prettier than when the leaves are all beautiful and then you wake up and there's a frosty morning. So I'm going to take the frost white shimmer paint and you just shake it and get some in the lid. And then I have my dauber. You can see I've used it a couple of times with this because it does get some on here. You don't want a ton. I already have some on my fingers. And I'm just gonna add it so my trees are gonna get a little frost tip to them. It doesn't need to be everywhere because like in nature and especially by the time usually when you're up in time to see it, some of it's already started to melt because it's not very often that you get tons of frost if you don't live where this can happen. One more little shake. The 
you can do so many things with these sponge daubers. Um, and you get one if you do my um, current class that I have going on, online class with the um, um, making Christmas bright and making every day bright. But you'll, you're also going to get one if you do the winter woods because we do a glossy resist. And if you haven't done glossy resist in a while, it's such a fun technique. And this is such a beautiful stamp set to do it with. So again, you just close that. And you just press it on here and then I am going to you can clean this with your chamois um, but as you can see I'm working with one of my newer chamois and because this is red rubber it can stand to have a um, wet wipe I don't like I never use wet wipes on my um, photopolymer stamps because it sticks to it into them and then it can make your images look really bad but the red rubber does do okay with these You'll be able to see how pretty this is in just a second. And plus the wet wipes will take off where I have smeared it onto my hands. But you can see it's on here. And this just takes it right off. You don't want it to dry on there. So if you're doing this at, at um, with friends or at a stamping event, just give everybody a wet wipe and they can just wipe it off right after they do it. And then after I'm done with this, I usually just take them over to the sink and run a little soapy water on them. Or a little bit of our stamping mist, whichever. But see if you rub these on your photopolymer, because photopolymer is a little sticky, all these fibers just stick inside. And then when you go to stamp the next time, you've got fibers of little linens down inside of your stamps. And that's never good for stamping. But see, good as new. All nice and clean. So don't worry about using the shimmer on your paint. You just want to get it off right away. And you can use them on your photopolymer. And you may have seen, I've done that on some videos. Um, and then I do use my shimmer. I use one of my older ones to just clean that off. Make sure my hands dry. And you can see my hands are a mess now. That's from using the chamois and picking it up. But when you use your stamparatus, you have to pick your chamois up. That's why I went with a cleaner one. But obviously, I reached for the dirty spots every time. Dry my hands off. Move my super sticky magnet. And then just look how pretty that is. I hope you can see the shimmer. I don't have my fake lights on today. I was hoping that the sunlight would be, isn't that so pretty. Um, and it would make a really nice, like you could do, if you were doing a framed art piece, um, you could put a longer piece in your stamparatus and then just keep moving it over so you could get, you know, three or four lines of these trees in all different colors. Um, and make a really pretty piece. So pretty. Okay. Move that out of the way. And I'm almost finished with this card. It looks like it takes a lot longer than it actually does. Move my big shot over here. And one day I will learn to place it so when I pull it, the handle's towards me and not towards you guys. This is from the Joyous Noel um, Glimmer Paper, and it is the shaded spruce. going to run that through this little um, leaf die is from the bundle that comes with the winter woods so when you buy the bundle you get the dies and then I'm going to use this embossing folder is the corrugated and it is in the holiday mini the line on here just to make sure that you've put it in straight which I need to sometimes I show the camera and I never actually look at it and then it's not straight so it's not quite straight there we go and with these you just need no adapter and you just need one of the plates because they're super super thick which you know if you forget it's not gonna let you push it through with anything more than that because they're so fat I don't spray mine. I know some people spray them. I know people do. I think it works fine just like that. So no need to do anything fancy with it if you don't have to. I'm not the world's laziest stamper, but I definitely rank up there with them. So now it's just putting it together. And then when I do use this, I kind of pull it back out unless I want it super corrugated for something. Um, 
And then one tip is to put your adhesive on your base and not on this because then you smush, it'll smush the corrugation right out. So just line that on there, push that on. We will be on vacation, not next week, in not next week, the week after. And I have some videos that I've already taped and they're lined up ready to go. I don't have the blog post ready, but one of the ones that I have, and I did want to tell you guys about it, is I have filmed my office and I have filmed my table and I have, I have yet to dig out the old pictures. I did at one point, so they're stored somewhere in my cube computer of my table and my work surface because it's one of the questions I get from you guys all the time like can we see your table can we see your studio um, so I do have that and it will post while we were are gone because I figure that's a thing that I if I have questions to answer about it and we are off at Disney and I can't answer I can answer when I get home it's not gonna hold up any of your orders or anything like that so just got that um, so be watching for that it will be the I'm gonna use my snail um, not the last week in October the week before that that we're gone we're gone for like nine days so I'm gonna try to have three or four videos post while I'm gone um, and I do have internet back now so I was not able to answer any, all of the comments. I could see them coming in on YouTube, but it's hard to answer them on my phone because my thumbs were starting to hurt from using my phone so much. Um, so I did answer those all today. Slowly getting, well, I don't know that I'll ever be caught up from not having internet for a week, but you know, it is what it is. But at least I have internet now. So I'm back in the, I got it on the weekend. So there it is. Super easy, super pretty, and you could make a bunch of these because once you have that little template in there, then you can just keep stamping. Here's the one I did yesterday. So you can see all of your trees are always going to look a little different just because of the amount of ink and how it fell and where the leaves are, but similar enough, the color combinations. So I hope you like that. Um, if you love this bundle, you'll want to watch for my online class. Hopefully I will post it I'm gonna to try to get it posted so I can get my first order in so it is here when we get back from vacation. So hopefully it will be up next week. Um, maybe even the end of this week if I can get my act together. I have some of the projects thrown together but I need to get the last project done and I need to get the pricing and all that ready. Um, so hopefully you like that. But this will not be one of the projects that's in it. But if you do, um, I'm giving away a stamp apparatus for every 10 people that do my online classes this month. There'll be a drawing. Um, here again, and the other of these are more from it. I haven't even used the tiny little stamps that come in this set yet. So those are all being, in, that's part of what I'm um, trying to get creative with my last card. So I like to use all of the pieces or as many as I can for the online class. So when you get your um, stamp set, you have lots of ideas with it, but there's definitely one that includes this and there's a glossy resist, so I can tell you that much, but the cards are always a surprise. So there you go. Have a nice day. Bye.